Mic check. Mic check. Okay. Hi. How are you? So great to see you. Me how too. are you doing? I'm doing um, great. I'm doing awesome. Very, very appreciative of where of where things are right now, and just praying for a big victory. But I'm also just so nervous. So. You've been the mother of an elite athlete for the last, I don't know, six years? Seven. Seven, seven years. Yeah, He's been in the league for seven, seven years. years. Yeah. Before was, that, he, he wasn't an elite athlete. It just started seven years ago. It just started years seven years it. ago. Yeah. And then before that, no. at Stanford for four years. Did three. he go all four? Three. Three years. He dropped out. Yeah. He's a dropout. College <laughs> dropout. Loser. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, Lisa, what is it like being a mom going into the Super Bowl where your son is a key feature in the success of the team? Oh, wow. Um, well, I'll let you know on Sunday what it's like, because uh, I've never done this as uncharted territory in, in that it's my son. I've been there when my husband did this, um, but now it's a whole new bag. bag oh, so of you guys, so. you guys were together when your husband? Yeah, yes. Yeah. We met um, in college. We met yeah, in college. you did. Yeah. Okay. So we've been married a lo- 31 years. Insane. So long time. So. But what is it like right now? There's just a couple of days prior to usually for most people, this is the um, this is there's a such an anxiousness and an energy around it yeah. that either you love it or you don't like. So how is it for you? Yeah, it's um, uh, I try. I've been trying to keep I've been trying to keep busy. I'll say that trying to like just, you know, be, you know, to go for a little run in the morning and do stuff to just remain calm. But then, you know, I walk out of the hotel and there's a big Super Bowl 58 sign and it's like, boom, hits you right in the face. And I'm like, my kid is playing in that. Or if I'm walking by and I see somebody in a Niner jersey, I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's when I get my anxiety just goes off the chart but yeah. um it just you just want to win so bad you want you want to you don't want to disappoint anybody and you just you want it, everything to go well so that's uh what i'm hoping for but yeah i'm anxious i'll say that very nervous but i'm trying not to be because i know it's wrong to be nervous so. well i think it's I mean, probably pretty natural it's, yeah i assume so. do you naturally run nervous yes very nervous yeah yes, so yes. generally you feel anxiety more than you would feel depression Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. So if you were to fall on one side of the ledger, it would be more on the anxiety side. Absolutely. Why do you, is there one, like people have a tendency to do one of each? Yeah, no? I think e- even like, let's not interesting. diagnose anything about anybody, but mm-hmm. like if I were to fall on, on one side of the coin, you know, or one side of the ledger, I would fall on the anxiety side as well. Okay. And yeah. so definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same for you. Some right. people it's, a, it, they're both mood disorders. They're okay. both mood conditions, okay. if you will. They're both emotionally charged. Um, ways to go through life. The depression side is like, man, it's just hard. It's just, it just feels really hard to, to wake up and like get going. And you're definitely not that. No, that is no. <laughs> I'm like, I my eyes open and I can't go back to sleep because I have so much anxiety. Like I have to go go for a run. I have to do something. So to, you use your physicality yes, to try to work exactly. it out. I feel better. I listen to music and dance or or in, or go for a run. That's my go to. I have to be honest. So okay, well yeah. that makes some Which sense. Helps. You also have athleticism in your history as well. Yes. Yeah. So can you explain what your success? Yeah, your level of success in athletics. Um, I played. I played a ton of sports in high school. A lot of different sports. Everything from tennis, track, cheerleading, uh, to soccer, and um, I ended up uh, uh, playing soccer in college. Playing soccer at Stanford, and um, yeah, it was it was intense. I ran track a little bit too, but um, I I just I don't know. I, have a, I like to run. I feel better when I'm running, or if I if I went for a run, I always feel better after. I just I feel the need to do it. Like sometimes I'll go to sleep and dream about running. It's so weird, but I just love 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 to do it with really good music. Nothing makes me feel better. Makes Okay, there you go. So it is a go-to for you. It is a go-to for me. What are the other strategies that you naturally use to be able to work through the anxiousness that you're, at least the the anxiousness you're feeling now? Um, I I just try to talk to myself and say, it's not about me. Me being nervous isn't going to help Christian. Me being nervous isn't going to help anybody. So I just need to, I need to calm down, but it's, it's hard to do that. I'll be honest. I used to, well, let me brag about myself for one second. I used to bite my nails to a bloody pulp. Like, I mean, Till I was since I was 50 years old, I would bite from five years old to 50 years old. I would bite my nails even before we got in this crazy business when I was playing sports. And at 50, I said, I am done. I am a 50 year old woman. This is absurd. My nails look awful. So I started getting my nails done, which sounds so stupid, but it would it would make me stop biting them. And I actually have stopped. It's been what four, five years now, and I haven't bit my nails. So yeah, there's there a little got, progress. Yeah, that, anyway, that's, that's my brag. That's yeah. so stupid. But and yeah. do you feel your? <laughs> so I'm I'm thinking about all of the parents in our community and i'm thinking about y- your experience right now like do you feel the anxiousness of your son is it in your body or is it more running thoughts 
And you can have oh, both. It's both. It's definitely both. Like yeah. I, the things will pop in my head and then, then my body will feel. And then you feel anxious. it. And yeah. do you feel it, it in, in your stomach? Your, more my your stomach. stomach. Yeah, my gut. Yes, and it's, is sure. it like the butterfly type of feeling or is it more than that? It's more like butterflies are punching the inside of my stomach. So they're bit, really mean and big butterflies. They're like steroid butterflies <laughs> and they're hitting the inside. That's what it's like. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, so. So that actually is serving a purpose. And that purpose is to get you ready for something. Like that's what's happening. It's a bit of a, yeah, it's a fight flight mechanism, but it's too early. Right, there's right. No, why do, yeah, why? There's it's three just, days it's away, calm early, down. Yeah. Yeah. Because your mind is so powerful that when you start thinking about something, you can, your brain, your body can't quite tell if those images are real or if they are like just your imagination. So it will always default on the side of safety and emergency and so it goes let me just get ready right now because yeah. i can't tell because these images are so amazing and radical that i got to turn myself on right now so that's what's happening okay and good. so there's that's yeah a it's way, a normal yeah. thing okay and then do you have the pill that makes that go away I do, there's lots of them actually you know, <laughs> where's right? give me some right now please <laughs> yeah. there's lots of the gray market black market <laughs> yeah, whatever yeah. i don't care yeah, whatever no, it takes the, the, the pills are probably not your best no, strategy no, for this. Yeah, of course <laughs> breathing is a good one Okay, I've tried that. Self-talk, which you talked about, and meditation. Okay. Those are three really nice ones. And then exercise, and then being around other people that are grounded. Yes, okay, that helps. You yeah. know, and, but let's, let's go back to the origin. Why are you anxious about your okay. son's game? It's not your game. Right. I, you, you already brought that up. It's not, right. and, and one other element to that, are you nervous you would get hurt? Are you nervous he would make mistakes? Both. Those are the two things that I get nervous. Mostly the injury and just making mistakes. And, and I just really want them to win because I know how happy he would be and how much he's worked um, for this moment. See, that's a different one that a mom or a dad would have that's different than other people. Like that. That's what I'm trying to tease out. The, the natural fears of injury and feeling a certain way if he blows it. Right. Like that would be awful as a parent. Yeah. And then the other thing, I know how bad he wants it, how much he cares, yeah. how much he's dedicated. And I want him to experience that. Yeah. Is that kind of the soup? The yeah, broth that's of it. All that mixed into one. Just you, can we fry that up and burn yeah. it and get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. Right so I want to just, yeah. Oh I don't my know. God, yeah. yeah. Or give me that pill. Either yeah, way. The, 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 that, that, that pill, that, those pills just numb things. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What is one of... What is one of your favorite experiences of Christian? Your favorite oh, wow. memories? My, one of my first and favorites is, I, we talk about it all the time, seventh grade or seven year old Christian playing in his first year playing tackle football, uh, or actually I think he was, yeah, I think he was seven years old for this really, this team that had never won it one before. They get to the championship. I mean, this is seven year old, mind you. It might've been eight year old now that I think about it, but they get to the championship against this team that was like our nemesis all year. We played them earlier and they killed us. They beat us. But then we went on and didn't lose a game the rest of the season. And so we kind of built and got better our team. Um, I remember all the players on it. It's insane. So anyway, we get to the finals and it's double overtime. And Christian is playing defense, you know, at the very end. And they're, they just need to score. If they score, I think we tie and we go into another overtime because we had scored before. Anyway, he's playing defense and he like jumps sideways. They, the quarterback threw it, jumps sideways, and he batted down a pass for the win. And it was the coolest play ever. Like it was, it was a beautiful throw and everything. And he just like, I don't know, he looked incredible. I just remember him looking incredibly athletic for a little kid. And I'm like, that was amazing. And it, I just, I, we all jumped up. I was crying. There was another dad. We were hugging and ran out. We picked him up. And it was, it was seven oh year old, seven gosh. year old football. Oh it's so silly, goodness. but I remember that. And then of course, that's one of my favorites. And then the Rose Bowl was just probably one of the best days of my life. From the time I woke up in the morning to the, to the night, everything that happened that day, it just, I didn't anticipate it happening that way, but like I went for a really good run. I had a great time. I'll never forget it. It's so stupid. And my random playlist played all my favorite songs. Then we get to the game and it was just, I don't know, just like I had all my kids there. It was just a really beautiful day. It was magical. And, and he just played the game of his life. And that day was just one of the best days of my life. And I'll always cherish that. So yeah. So sounds I, silly. Yeah. No, amazing. <laughs> and then when you think of some of the your hardest experiences as a mom, you know, working with an elite athlete, but you know, oh, just yeah. a lot yeah. of those too. <laughs> yeah. What, what are some of those harder memories? Oh or my gosh. Just I, honestly, anytime there's, there's been a loss, like he just, he just, he's so competitive and he wants to win. And, and, and this is hard for you. 
yes, well, I'm trying, you know, trying to, I know he's, he's upset. And so it's hard for me to make him feel better. I want to just make him feel better and realize mm. it's okay. And yeah, I just want, him, go. want that so much for yeah. him just to be like, Oh, come on. It's okay. Everyone makes mistakes. If there, if it was something that was his fault or whatever the case is, I just, I just, you know, you're a mom, you instantly have this, this nurture um, feeling. You just want them to be better right away. You just never want them to be sad. <laughs> that's not realistic. But yeah, it's, well, it's not realistic. No, yeah, and so I that, know that. that's the, like the, the short game and the long game. So the short game is, um, I don't want you to go through the prickly, difficult emotions. Right. The long game is I'm glad that uh, the long game is you need these things. Right. You need to experience them to work through them yeah. so that you can be a strong, sturdy human, you right. know, in, in this crazy world that we're in. So, yeah. so how do you balance the two of those? You just do. You just, you just do. You have, you have to like go through it directly. You can't, you know, you have to talk about the thing, talk about things. And so, you know, we've some of our best moments are the car rides home now, like after a game, we'll be in the car. The best is the, I'm really thankful for Ed because he knows the game so well and he, they can, Your you know, they, they anal yeah, my husband, sorry. They analyze every play. Like they'll talk about every play, especially if it stood out for some reason and try to figure out what he did wrong or so he what he wants, could do does he want to talk about that? Post -game? He does. And we don't, we don't start. He always starts usually. So. Yeah. That's a really which important is, Yeah, takeaway. we do not, but he, he likes to talk about it. And then, and then eventually he, and, um, after they, after we eat, we all are usually, we always usually feel a little bit better. And then he and Ed will break out the film and they'll start going over a film, which is always good. And like Luke, my youngest is also playing too. And both, both him and Christian, usually when they watch game films, it's never as bad as they think it was or as good as they think it was. It's always, and as we know, this is like the ultimate team game. So it's, it's just, I just hope everyone feels good and does well on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> ditto. Yes, yeah. ditto. Are you rooting for the 49ers first and foremost? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah well, or what? you better not say it just because I'm sitting here. No, right. right. I was going to say, like, you're you're going to think I'm going to say it just because you're here. No, yeah. I've got um, friends on the Niners. OK, cool. That I, I, I'm i absolutely supporting and rooting for. And so, okay, good. yeah, and it's my home state. OK. So, oh, yeah. You yeah, have to. Oh, yeah. yeah 100 yeah. percent. Right, good. So, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, thanks. Good. That's really, okay. I'll think of you because you're a calming factor a day and yeah. you're rooting for. No, well, you've got the it's a good yin yang. I've got yeah. the calm energy. You've got all the vibrance yeah. it's a good it's a good <laughs> okay, match good, there yeah. yeah it's really good you must make people feel excited about life you bring such a <laughs> like sure. an energy about you <laughs> do, do you get told that often um i have been told that i have good energy sometimes but you know you're like i'm a normal person though there's times i'm sad and down but i have been told that before yeah actually yeah, a yeah. lot this year because i think um, my thing is, is I get nervous and i talk and i get i just talk a lot and i, I talk fast and I, I know i just i have that that well, I don't know. I need a community like to talk through it with yeah, them when I'm yeah, nervous. Yeah. Whereas my husband's the opposite. He shuts down completely quiet. So we're, a, we're a great combo to yeah, game right. day. The, the, <laughs> yeah. Well, imagine if both of you had the same response, yeah, exactly. it'd, be, it'd be over the top. Right. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. One way or the other. Yeah. So breathing is really important in the, in the, in the kind of emptying your cup. That's yeah. a, you know, and, and. So wait, I have a question. Do you think it's good to run because I'm exerting 100%. so much energy oh, running? You're, you're a physical being. Yeah. Okay. So. Cause I'm like, I don't want to exert cause I want to try to have good, have enough energy to calm myself down. No, but no, no. That's really okay. good. So if you think about the, 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 the recipe, if you will, it's something physical, okay. something psychological, okay. something emotional and something social. And then and if, where, and then is, where's that pill? Where does that fall in there? Where does that go? <laughs> we didn't, that's not the first default. Oh, darn, yeah, shoot, yeah. darn it. Gosh, I need a magic potion here. Yeah. People ask me all the time, like, <laughs> like let's say a golf moment or something like yeah, that. Yeah. How do you help me be better in golf? And it's like, you know, just take a couple shots of tequila. Yeah, like, nice. But that's not yeah, sustainable. Right. This is no. not sustainable. No, no, yeah. no. And I, I don't drink. I don't drink on the game day at all. I try, maybe after if it's a little celebration, but I don't, because that's a recipe for disaster. It's that a, doesn't it's work. It's a numbing right. too. Yeah. Like, I yes. feel like you want to feel all of it, even if it's it's right. hard with the anxiousness. You want to be fully clear minded. Right. That's how I feel. I feel I need to be clear minded too. And not foggy and numb. Right. And, right. right. Like really switched on and engaged. Yeah. Yeah. I see that for you. And then go back to the car ride. The car ride home is the most dangerous part mm -hmm. of most people's sport. It's the number one reason why kids leave sport. Right. Is because that car ride home is too intense. Yeah. It's too much for the kids that just laid it all out there and right. made a bunch of mistakes or didn't get play time or so how do you structure your the the car ride home? It, it might be one of the greatest gifts you can give the person listening right now that has oh. a kid that's playing. Like how do you structure this? Um yeah, the only the only thing we do is we wait for Christian to give us the cue. 
I have to, like, for example, with him, because okay, everyone so, knows him, so, so are any of our kids. So are you already in the car or are you walking yeah. to the car? We usually together. walk to the car. Together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we usually have a big group. It starts with a big group and then we, we get slowly get smaller. And then it's usually his fiance, Ed and I and Christian in the car, which I'm telling you, those 30 minute car rides home are the best. They're the amazing. It's it's yeah. Even if things aren't perfect, um, it's it's just all finally we're like in our own safe little environment and you can vent if you need to. And and sometimes we don't talk football on the way home. And, and honestly, we all wait for Christian to give the cue. If he wants to talk about it, he will. Ed sits in the front seat next to him and they can go back and forth, which most of the time he does want to talk about it but there are times you know we just start laughing about something that happened during the game you know or or, or talk about some incident or something that that we we ha happened to us in the stands so okay good so um, you're bringing him into your experience until he wants to yeah, say yes, hey did you see that third down call or whatever whatever right. the thing was and i'm trying to pull back on when they were little because i know probably a lot of listeners are like our moms of, of young kids but I, I mean honestly my advice is just like not to talk about it. Let them cue it up. Let them talk about it. Or how'd you feel today? How did you know? How'd your body feel? So you or will something? start with that's the what I would think. Yeah. yeah. Or and or like, wow, that was a fun day or nice weather. I don't know. Just to, just something to. And you sometimes they don't want to talk. Sometimes you just if you take the cue, they just want to like be in their own head. I I was probably we were probably bad about that at first because we didn't know as parents. And when the kids were really little, we would all of a sudden start in and try to talk. But as I got older, sometimes they just need to decompress for a bit. Like I have every, every we have four boys and each of them have a different demeanor. So there were some that just were quiet for a bit and needed to like you know um, think about what happened or let it go. Whatever it whatever it was, good, yeah. bad, or ugly. Um, the point just, is that you you were observant of. When you're at we your best, we got best. better. Yeah, when we got better. Best, about you're observant it as, as of what they older. need. Right. We tried to be. Tried. I mean, not perfect by any yeah. means, but we tried to be. So. I mean, one of the mistakes but, I make is I talk to I I know and you know a yeah. lot about this, so we want to give as much as we possibly can. Right. And if the ratio is anything, if it if it's anything other than me talking twenty percent and him talking eighty percent, it's probably not right. Yeah. Right. Right. It, right. Like, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's like a ratio that I think about. It's a almost like a horseshoe approach. OK. Yeah. Good. And for you guys, though, as adults. Yeah. What is different. it? Yeah. What um, is that ratio? Yeah. And it, honestly, it varies because it, yeah. it really does. It varies because sometimes he doesn't want to talk about it just for whatever reason. And we don't. Eventually, he always does. I'll say that he's lives and dies for this. This is his sport. This is what he loves. This is his passion. And Ed, my husband, has equal passion for it too. He loved it. He loved playing. He just loves the game, the actual X's and O's. And they love to analyze that. So yeah. they do ultimately, we'll talk about it sometimes not right away though. So Olivia and I will sit in the back and kind of laugh about and look at pictures and, and stuff. And, and we'll listen too sometimes as well. But they do. Li I think he likes to talk about it. Is yeah. Well, in general, some like to your some point. Like, some right, like and yeah. some want to be kind of. They want to. They're more introverted in their processing. Right. What do you hope that mothers can better understand? Like your life lesson is really your life experience is very unique. <laughs> you are a mother of one of the best in the world right now at at the game that your son loves Thanks. incredibly nice. much. <laughs> yeah. And by the way. Um, so I was in the league. I don't care about your fantasy team. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Nine kidding. seasons with the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. And um, you can ask anyone on our team. The the athlete that I I loved watching the most at warmups and the game was your son wow. at warmups. Wow. It is he has a an masterpiece. Intense warm -up, it's he? a yeah. masterpiece the way that he <laughs> warms up. Yeah. And, and it's beautiful and it's amazing. And you can just see him switching on and getting tuned. Getting mentally a, ready. Yeah. yeah. And then there's a there's a next level that happens when he's actually playing. So it feels to me like this really purposely designed crescendo. Build up, yeah. It is beautiful he, and amazing. He's equated it to like classical music. Like, you know, no. there's kind of the build up. Like, and he sometimes he will that's listen to classical music before games. That's what he has in his headphones. Not always, but sometimes he does. And that's how he equates it. Like. He's just the just like you said the crescendo the build up so he can just like be explosive when he gets out there. That's what he tries to do. You do you know his ideal mindset? No, I do cannot. Do you speak know for him. your ideal mindset for watching a game? My ideal mindset is would be calm, cool, and collected, and enjoy the game and appreciate where we are. But and how do you? What is your crescendo to get to that place? <laughs> I mean, I always go back to running that that just that gets me So the, the physical that, you, yeah, you rely physical, mostly on the physical. physical like even during the game. Sometimes I'll um, I'll like leave where we are and I'll like walk. I'll walk around, you know, not usually around the big stadiums, but I'll go for like a quick walk when there's a, a break or a timeout or something. I will like to, I like to move. That does make me feel better. The movement, yeah, so. because you're so physical, I would just I would 
it's ask you to maybe consider exploring breathing, like long exhales. I've like, tried breathing. It's just, yeah. so I'll start breathing. And then my mind's like, you're an idiot. Like, you, what are you doing? No, like, long no, there's exhales. An, there's, you should be intense. You should be, you should no, be no, nervous. No, long, so there's a, there's a sweet spot. <laughs> I know. You know, like. I know it's good for you. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Christian works on breathing all the time in the off season. He does a lot 100%. of stuff underwater. And yeah. Works with some surfers, some professional surfers. And it's amazing. He's yeah. like, swears by it, but I need to work on that for sure. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. Try, I know. Maybe yeah. you try the next couple of days. It's simple. <laughs> yeah. Like, let's say it's four you. seconds in, eight okay. seconds out. Okay. In through your nose, out through your nose. You're making me breathe right now. Yeah, why not? You yeah. are so funny. <laughs> you are so much fun. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay, last question. I didn't get to to really express my the fullness of this question. If there was one thing that you could pass on to mothers mm -hmm. about the unique situation that a mother has with a son or a daughter that is trying to be their very best. Yeah. Uh, what do you really want to say to them? Gosh. Um, oh man, my advice, first off, whatever it is, even if it's out of your comfort zone and they're passionate about something you're not comfortable with, nurture that. Like support them, give them every chance to make it in whatever it is, because a, a kid's only going to do as well as they're as well as what they are passionate about. Like they have to have that drive within them. And you know what? At some point in their life, it might switch. It might be something else and that's okay. Um, but you've got to let them lead. And then all your job, I, in my opinion, your job is, is there is to be there to support them, um, nurture them. Like I was neurotic growing up about feeding them because I felt like that was the one thing I could do um, that would help their bodies grow and, and be the best athlete they, they wanted to be. And so I, I would make sure I'd, I'd cook. I cooked like voraciously for years. Oh, my gosh. If only you knew how much I spent at Whole Foods. It was insane. Yeah, but yeah, I would cook. Yeah. I try to cook healthy, um, hearty meals. That was that was important to me to get that in their body so that they can do what they can they can do what they can do at their best so do you have a guiding purpose as a mom that <sighs> is helping you make the choices that you're making the way that you pour into your kids i i never really thought about a guiding purpose i have to be honest i just these kids were born and i just you know you just like love them more than yourself you really do and you just it's just i think it's like an innate innate thing inside yourself that you just like you would do anything for your kids i feel that now i know there's some of those crazy moms out there that don't feel the same, but, um, but I just, I just, I had these kids and I just all of a sudden was like, wow, I have to protect them. Um, I have to help them grow and nurture and be the best they can be. And I, I just tried to do that with all of my heart and tried, you know, I don't know. I'm sure they have complaints. Let's not get them on. So no, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. they'd be like, yeah, she was annoying or <laughs> well, let's, let's play this out. Like, let's go to um, the end of your life, whatever image that you have mm -hmm. and we're talking about Christian right now because of the Super Bowl, and like, and if he was standing next to you or or standing like in your laying down type of moment, and he's holding your hand, what would you hope? Yeah, what would you hope he would say in that moment? Oh, I would hope right now he would say, "Thanks for that hug after I won the Super Bowl." <laughs> You Can go I there, say that? You? Yes, of course. You didn't want to go there. No. You almost did, didn't you? I did. I was like, yeah. oh, man. Did you start feeling a bunch, even just imagining that? That I'm about to cry, and I don't want to cry. Yeah. Um, no, I... Uh, um, Seriously, I would just I would just hope that he felt the love that I feel for him and, the bro and his brothers as well. I just would hope that they would feel that they were so loved and that it's going to be okay, that I'll be okay, don't worry about me go and have the best life you can possibly live and be healthy and happy. And I just hope they know how much I love them. That is your guiding purpose. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel all of that? Yeah. 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 Well, yeah I want to, I want to cry as well. Like yeah. that's, that's the a guiding purpose I have. That, that's so resonating. And to me, I me. just assume every mom feels that way. Lisa, thank you. And um, I am wishing your family <laughs> all the success Thanks. and I'm, I'm, at this, at, at another level, I'm also wishing for the greatest experience for the rest of your life. Yeah, I don't know nice. what that will be, Me but <laughs> um, I, yeah. And, and the, the more transactional is like, let's go get a win. Let's yeah, go get this thing. That's, yeah, let's have a great game, you know? And at the same time, there's a long game here that I'm so rooting for you guys. Oh, the character nice. is evident. The yeah. love is clear. The family unit is such a powerful force in your life. Yeah. And Thank you for standing that up and being the emblem oh, of giving nice. and loving okay. and honesty. Like your honesty as a parent. Oh. And the honesty say I'm a nervous wreck. 
Yeah. It's not a game. Yeah. Like you're, it's <laughs> right. there. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> and just thank you for sharing uh, the way that you've shared that. It's an, I think it might be a bigger gift than you realize. Oh, and goodness. thank you for sharing it with me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks yeah. for making me centered and getting back to myself and, and realizing that this is a game and that I just have to be here for Christians. So thank do you, you. Do you feel that, that recentering? You don't have to. I do, to. I, I, I do to, but yeah. then I'll walk out and see if I see somebody walking in the street with Chris's jersey, then I get anxiety because I want him to win for those people so bad. Yeah, you know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Those yeah. triggers are so. I know, like, it's, I get, there's triggers all over here too. So all over in Vegas, but it's beautiful. It's I have to sit back and be like, this yeah. is amazing. I, this is good pressure. Someone once said to me, pressure is a blessing. You know, yeah. it's the, the fact that we can be here. This is a, this is the, Billie Jean be, King talked about pressure as a privilege. Yeah. That idea. Right. It's exactly, yeah, exactly. Right. She's 100%. right. Spot on. Yeah. Yeah. So here we are. I'm excited. It's a good, let's yeah. go Niners. Let's go Niners. Let's, let's go, go McCaffrey's. Let's go high five. Thank you. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Thank you.